Hey everyone, this is Bobby Angel with Ascension Presents. With me is Dr. Andrew Swafford, who is a professor, he's a husband, he's a father, he's a good friend. He's been a contributor to a number of Ascension projects, including Romans, the Great Adventure Bible, and the newest product, What We Believe, The Beauty of the Catholic Faith. But wanted to talk about a guy session we did recently where we realized there can be sometimes a hesitancy for those who have experienced victory, whether in the arena of chastity or any other area of life, to be hesitant about sharing what God has done for us because we maybe think it's prideful, we think it's not prudent to share, it may just somehow shame other people in, let's just say again, the arena of pornography where I've experienced freedom and victory for like one month and then six months and then a year and then like longer and sometimes we are hesitant to share that for a number of reasons and and both you and I were sensing that um, and we're reflecting on it and kind of had to come back to if we boast we boast in Christ and from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians where he says my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in your weakness I will all the more gladly boast of my weakness that the power of Christ may rest upon me and we, I just wanted to, to talk to you about that because the need for encouragement, the need for us to build up others in a way that sometimes maybe we think it is, maybe it's the evil one trying to get in our heads saying like, don't share this. Like if you're in a season of victory, if you're really experiencing freedom in the Lord, like don't, don't share it. Like that's not going to help others. Like what, what would you say to that? Hmm, this is so, so good. What makes a saint, what so many saints will tell us really is this kind of twofold combination of one, recognize your brokenness, the poverty in spirit, Be blessed are the poor in spirit. So recognize your brokenness, but see that in light of the infinite mercy of God. Like those two, because if you only think about your brokenness, you end in despair. If you only think about mercy, you end in presumption. It's the two together that makes a saint because it, being a saint is not simply try harder. It's recognize your brokenness in the love of the Lord to transform us from the inside out. And that's what St. Paul's getting at. You know, my power is made perfect in your weakness. So that's, that's number one. This is Christ's victory in us. But to your point, and we were there at that men's session, a, a lot of men in particular, but I think men and women um, who struggle in these areas, there's a sense in which this can't really be beaten. Mm. And I think part of it's, and here's the thing is you can't hope for what you don't think is possible. St. Thomas Aquinas talks about this, the virtue of hope, like you only hope for the possible, you don't hope for the impossible. And if you th don't believe it's possible, you can't have real hope. And if you don't have real hope, you're not gonna have real courage and real prospect for victory. And I just think people don't share these success stories because they don't wanna brag, they don't wanna make other people feel bad. And so there's a lot of like solidarity and yeah, I struggle too, I struggle too. And, and that's great, that is absolutely wonderful right, right. to kind of build each other up. But I, I, I wonder where, at times that call to greatness, that loving accountability, and that belief that you know we're not gonna empty the cross of its power. Like the, the Lord gave us the Holy Spirit. Like we can beat this. I, I guess what I'm worried about is the kind of defeatist mentality uh, that goes in as if the game's already lost before we even start. And then we just, we don't really even, try at least not as hard as we would otherwise because we don't think it's possible even the reality of we need to see it it can be done mm -hmm. we need to see people who share their wounds and say yeah this was part of my story and um, I took the steps that I needed to take in order to be free and you're gonna encourage and build up other people I've seen it with former students who say mr. angel it's been um, six months since I've looked at pornography and then I get a text and be like mr. angel it's been one year and I'll have them share that with, with younger classmates. And it's like, you didn't spontaneously combust. Like you, you're joyful, like you're free. And there's this, like, you're not shaming other guys who are still in the fight, but you're, you're showing them, oh man, I want that. I want that freedom. I, it can be done. Like yeah. if he did it, I know I can. So you're, we're building each other up and it's not look at how awesome I am and I did it. It's look what Christ has done through me and I'm free. For me, I think sometimes there's a hesitancy because I know it balances on the edge of a knife and to have the humility of like, I'm not there yet. Like at any moment I could fall and by the grace of God, you know, do I make it through any given day? And kind of what St. Ignatius said about our souls being a fortress. And I think of Lord of the Rings, the two towers and Helm's Deep. If the devil is constantly prowling the walls of your soul and trying to find the weak point of that, like where's the sewer grate? Like where's the, the place I can... The, the crack in the wall that I can blow up, like that's where I'm going to target it. Yeah. And God allows that 
often for our humility to instead of mm-hmm. that we fall into pride with that like i don't need god i've conquered this thing um i'm good to go i'm yeah. solid like god will allow us to fall for the sake of not falling into that pride to bring us back to him again and again and again however as often as necessary so sometimes maybe there's a sensitivity to my humanness that i don't want to share this because yeah, the victory is not complete yet the victory is not complete and maybe i'll look like i have it all together when i i don't think that but it's like an overabundance of caution to where you're you're not you're putting the light under the bushel basket like you're you're not proclaiming what christ has done for you it doesn't mean you have it all together does that make sense makes perfect sense i know a guy who for a huge part of his life 11 12 years old on masturbation was like a a daily occurrence I mean, has been always, always been convinced that th- this is like a universal thing. Like nobody does not do this. Everybody does this. Right. Right. So no matter what, everybody does this. And having a few people kind of challenge him and say, no, no, one, this is a grave sin. Two, this can be beat. And for the first time in his life, actually taking up that challenge of sincerely wanting to try to beat this thing that's been such a dominant force for his whole life. And then you know, okay, made it a day, made it two days, made it a week. Oh, oh my gosh. All of a sudden made it a month. And then at that point, it's like, I mean, this, it, it, it's like, he doesn't want to lose a streak. Right, right. Right. And then, and then all of a sudden it's, it's a year and it's two years and it's three years and it's four years. And it's like, oh my gosh, this is really possible. And this person, it's, it's been over 20 years. And yeah, this person's married now, but, but that should not, marriage is not a license to mutual masturbation. So the, that, uh, the, that shouldn't be uh, because plenty of married men struggle in oh, yeah. this in this way, um, and they could be using their wives, but also doing these things uh, in, in ways that are not compatible with the dignity of the person. For so many people, in you know, eighth grade on, whatever, would never in a million years think that this is possible. But you and I both know. We both we both we know these people. We we we've, we've lived these things. Like we we actually know that this is possible. I mean, one of the greatest things to learn about the saints is how they struggled. Mm-hmm. Like, not, not have a cartoon version of the saints. Like, how did they struggle? To know that they struggled and then they overcame, it's like, I, I too can do that. Saints that struggled with addiction, saints that struggled with vanity, um, saints that uh, were living in a hookup culture. They wouldn't call it then of that day, but that's what they were in. That's what they, everyone else is doing it. And through our Lord, was able to, to turn it around. And I, I even think of like, again, the athletic world where there's documentaries of, I love these mountain climber documentaries. And it's these mountains that have never been climbed before, but you see these guys and they're doing it. And you're like, wow, it can be done. By the power of Christ, no matter where anyone is, it can ultimately be beat by the grace of God and whatever help uh, is necessary. And that may take accountability groups, that may take, like you said, counseling, and trying to get to the root of, again, why am I running to this particular vice? Like, what am I trying to cover up? My loneliness, my heartache, my um, just being tired, just being um, stressed. And so digging to the root of that, but yeah, we're all on this this journey, and we have to share what the Lord has done for us at, at every given step. If I could share just a little anecdote, too, of a group of guys, and there's various groups like this that have taken shape all over the country for a long time, and, and I, was, I was part of a group like this for a while where there were about six of us, and if anybody fell sexually, we would then we would call, yep. <laughs> not text, but call each one in the group, and they would fast. We'd all fast the next day for 24 hours. And, and just just knowing that you were going to make that call is an accountability check right. and knowing what you were going to put them through is an accountability check but ha- i mean i, I don't think it's anybody sh- can do this alone yep. you, you need help you need people that you can be weak with but also are going to like hold you accountable and are going to pick you up and, and build you up and, and do this with you in solidarity shoulder to shoulder it should hurt a bit i would say because it has to be something that i don't want to put my brothers through this right like that's enough for me to not fall to this sin this day because I love my brothers enough to like, I don't want to put them through that. And so that can be the starting point of taking it seriously and pray for that. If you don't have a brotherhood, if you feel like you don't have, or a sisterhood, if you don't feel like you don't have that support, like pray for that. Like, Lord, help me find people. And it may, it may be over the internet. Like help me to find good people that are going to hold me accountable and I can hold them accountable 
and take it seriously. You and I, we both share right now in the resurrected glory of Christ. He is king, he is conquered, and, and he can and will. He wants to not only forgive you, he wants to heal you, he wants to transform you, he wants to divinize you, he wants to transfigure you. He's going to make every one of us into something so radiant and beautiful and holy and, and, and let's just let, let's just cooperate with him. Let's invite him into this and let's believe that he he can do this. Like do we believe he can make saints out of us? Do we sincerely believe that he can make saints out of this muck? Yes. That's the gospel. If the Lord's calling you to share your story, listen to that. Be attentive to that because there's something there. And and watch out for like we've said, like maybe a false humility, maybe a fear of I'm going to have a target on my back if I share this. It's like, well, we all do. Like, you know, the devil is out for all of us. And so it's, it's not through my own strength. It's what Christ is doing through me and, and I cling to him day in, day out. And you don't need to hit like the 20 or 30 year mark before you share. The show. Like share the one month victory, share the week, I mean, share the small victories. And, and we're all in the same boat. We're all seasick. But I just think you... you, you don't let a false humility prevent you from helping your brothers, you know, uh, um, who might be really edified, really edified by hearing your victories big and small. This all goes for the ladies as well. Share your victories, share your successes. Don't be bashful about the great things the Lord has done in you and is doing in and through you right now. Yeah, amen. Please like, comment, subscribe. Check out all the other great videos and topics we have with Ascension from all of us at Ascension. God bless. I have no bloopers for you, so figure it out. The end. God bless. <laughs>